Yeah, yeah, they're a package deal right there. The only thing uh, in the in the in the, in the thrown out here is, is the fact that we're put in bodies for a while, and then uh -huh. once we die and we're, we're, we're out of these bodies, you know, you you've heard him say that you're more alive dead than you are when you're alive because you have your spirit body. Okay. Yeah, these I are just cells that. that we have, and these age, and and we're gonna lose them eventually, and. And have our spirits, we're just for spirit beings, we'll be spirit beings. Okay, so, okay, okay, so I got it. We're both, and uh, separated. Yeah, the body will just, will just go to the ground and return to dust, from, from what it we can also can, uh, So we also can say we are mortal, right? What's that? We, we, we may say then that we are immortal, we don't die. Right, we're more, well, the fact is because your soul can't die. Your body can die, but your soul can't. Okay. All right. Yeah, soul can't die, but your body can. Yeah, so just the body, okay. So we are immortal. So or we may go to heaven or to hell for, be forever. Right, one or the other. They don't choose God right. and repent of their sins and follow him. Then they're going to go with everybody else that refused to, you know, denied and rejected him, and they're going to go to hell for eternity. Wow, okay. Okay, Sherry, thank you very much, and I'm sorry for my Brazilian accent. Oh, that's no problem. <laughs> Thanks for calling in. Okay, have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Everybody always makes fun of the way I pronounce words. You know, I come out with the Sherry Schreiner Dictionary and how to improperly pronounce everything under the sun. Sherry? Yes? You remember earlier you were talking about NASA? Yeah. You know what NASA stands for, right? Uh, National Aeronautics Space Administration. No, I heard it stands for Never a Straight Answer. Never a Straight Answer. You must have got that off my website. <laughs> yep. Okay. I'll let you know if you have any more callers. Okay. All right, folks, listener line 260-356-2611. If anybody else wants to call in, i got about 10 more minutes. I really don't think I'm going to go through all these point by point because all the stuff is on my site. Uh, but just be aware that America is bad. I know when I have listener call-ins, I can't get into a, can't get into a thought because I know that any time that, that a call -in's gonna call -in, caller is going to call in, and I would much rather talk to you than sit here and go through information that's already on my website. You know, everything in, in my book is on my website. So on my website, they're called articles, and on my book, they're called chapters. <laughs> you know, I would never charge for anything, any kind of information the Lord's given me. Everything is free on my site. You don't have to buy the book unless you just don't want to read the sites. I know I, I did the whole idea about the book because people didn't, were tired of reading my website and going glare blind. Sherry? Yeah? You have another caller. You have John queued when you're ready. Okay, go ahead and put John on. You're up, John. Hey, hey, Sherry. Hi, John. How you doing? Hey, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that uh, I'm actually uh, in the that little group that you were talking about, and I have to say that I, you know, I I agreed with you, and uh, I just want to let you know not to let that uh, situation get you down because there's a lot of people out there who, especially part of the group who kind of agreed with you, but they can't really come out and say that. Yeah, you get crucified. Yeah, you would be pretty much. You would watch your post just eliminated, <laughs> and uh, it's happened to. We a lot of us talk amongst ourselves, and we see it happening. And uh, one thing that we do appreciate about you is that you do stick with the Bible as far as what it says, and some of the basic things that you know we as Christians hold dear. Uh, and so, I just want to let you know that uh, we do appreciate you for the stand that you took, uh, some of us anyway. Well, you know, I, I, I appreciate hearing that. You know, I just, it just got so, uh, you know, Lord's Lord led me in and around groups the past two years on the Internet to go in and, and expose things and reveal. And I thought that I found a place where I could just rest and hang my hat up. Right. You know, and so I was having a lot of fun. I had no idea I was there for an assignment. Yeah, I mean, I, would, I always enjoyed reading your post. and. Uh... Yeah, I was having a ball. And then when it had to stop, just because, you know, when I when I was reading certain things and, and the Lord inside of me just, you know, I couldn't take it. I just, you know. Well, a lot of people went into shock because it's just, 
uh, everything just happened so quick. And uh, but uh, you know, you have you know incredible value as far as what you bring you know to to all of us. And uh, I just didn't want you to feel bad about that situation or let it get you down. Um, and just you know offer you know words of encouragement and support from us that were in that group that were not able to express that openly. Well, you know what, I really appreciate hearing that, you know, uh, I just got really discouraged today, and now, you know, the Lord is, is just sending people to me since, you know, over the last few hours. Right. Just to give me some encouragement over that, and you know what, he's just awesome, and I thank you for, for calling in and telling me that. Yeah, and uh, you're very welcome, and uh, I just knew you must be feeling kind of low right now, and I just wanted to let you know that uh, you were not alone out there, especially concerning the situation that caused so much tumult uh, that there were many others that uh, did definitely agree from the very beginning that uh, our hands were tied. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but you just keep doing what you're doing, and uh, God bless you, Sherry. All right. Well, thanks a lot, and thanks right. for calling in. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And I've got about, well, not really enough time to take a call in unless you've got a quick question. I've got about, well... Steve's probably going to start pounding with music at any minute here, huh, Steve? <laughs> but what I'm going to do is... You've got about two minutes left on this hour. Two minutes left on this hour. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. What do you think, Steve? Go for nothing second hour or just wrap it up tonight and... That's, that's up to you. Yeah, I know. You're going to say that. <laughs> yeah, phone's ringing again, so hold on. All right. Okay, Sherry. Yeah. You have John up again. Okay, I can I can hardly hear you. Can you? Oh, uh, hold hello, on. Sherry. Hold this on. is John. Hey, John. How you doing? Oh, excellent. I wondered if we can talk into doing the second hour. I, I just feel something good will happen, and a lot of people would like to call in. Okay. <laughs> well, all right, yeah. As I sit here fumbling around trying to debate if I go a second hour or not, folks out there that are new to the show, we had gone two hours, but I had a co-host that, and, and doing two hours solo is a bit much, but. Yeah, you know, I think we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, that's great. Well, yeah. if you don't want to do two, Sherry, you can go an hour and a half. And go an hour and a half if I have to. Mm -hmm. I'm here for the callers, so as long as they're callings and, and, you know, I'm all for it. Okay, I just need at least a two-minute break at the top of the hour here. Why don't we take about five? Okay, we can take about a five-minute break if you want. Yeah, so everybody can run and get coffee and then come back. Okay, well, whenever you finish up with John, I'll go to break. Okay. Okay, I, I had a quick question, and maybe you can take it up uh, after the break, and that's about March 18th of this year. Okay. Do you have you run into anything special on that date? Well, I don't run dates. Okay. Uh, you know, I've never known the Lord to say I'm going to do this on a date, but I've known evil, you know, false spirits that will. Okay. Uh, usually these date things are occult things. Okay. Well, uh, the reason I bring up March 18th uh, is it's an unusual day. You know how uh, Y2K was unusual. Yeah, because nothing happened. <laughs> well, maybe they, maybe they, there's uh, you know each computer has its own time base. Yeah. And Unix, which is used uh, worldwide, changes, uh, comes up with an interesting, unique value on that day. And in history, a lot of unusual things have happened, so... Well, it's a war month. Ah. So if we're going to go to war, it's going to be in March. I mean, that, you, the caller before was asking about Syria. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we could be in Syria or Iran or even North Korea by, by March. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they, 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 they've prepared us for all three, so... Mm-hmm. You know, March is a war month. That's like one of those high conflict months of the year for sacrifice mm -hmm. uh, to Satan, not our God. Uh, but that's their blood sacrifice month, and all those all those Satan freaks like that month shed blood. So that's why they usually go to war that month. There have been so many things in history that have happened on that day, and uh, with the unit. Why don't you call back and, and give okay. us it? Do you have a rundown of that? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, well, why don't you call back at the top of the second hour? Okay. And we'll take it from there. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll talk to you then. Sure. Bye-bye. All right, folks. Go ahead and go get some coffee. We're going to take about a five-minute break, and then we're going to come back. Do you know where the 78 potentially active volcano...